It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Mattis Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1642, recorded Wednesday, September 27th, 2017. Lab tested. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have three gadgets from Interbike, one of my favorite gadget exhibitions. I have the last gadget from the Patrons Choose Month and your videos. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Going blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, our professor with tenure of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dicky D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing well myself. Well. Wow. With a new do. Yeah. You've been got clipped it. on the side. Got it got it shaved. Got it shaved. The uh this is the stylish undercut look. <laughs> oh, okay. The Looks like he was sideswiped. It's the, by it's a the bicycle reverse on either mullet side. is what it is. <laughs> the reverse mullet. Short oh, on the sides, is that the official long name? on the top. For me it is, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do they have a picture of like that in the barber shop and people <laughs> come come in and say, Oh, I want the reverse mullet. I, I want, want the Chad. I want the Chad. Yeah. I want the Chad, yeah. please. I'm in every barber shop. Just being <laughs> I always wondered how if your job was a hair model, how few and far between your work would be. Because it between oh. shoots, you gotta grow your hair so they could cut it again. Oh, that's interesting. You know, I just felt like if you were really a hair model, it would be kind of a crummy gig because you wouldn't get that much work. Well, um, you that would be a haircut model, right? Because like yeah. a, a, a hair model, they just go in and do it over and do it over again. But if I, uh, you're working for a company that's doing hair clippers, you're right. Yeah. They'll say, that was a good shot. We have to take that. We have to uh, take two. Yeah. Uh, come back in three months and we'll do take two. Exactly. And in between yeah. gigs, I mean, you just grow it. You just look so scruffy because I can't cut it because I don't know what style they might need. I got to yeah. grow it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I got I got shaved. You just came back from Interbike, which we've uh, talked I, about I, before, is one of our favorite um, places to see cool gadgets. It's Yeah. Well, us. you know, I thought... Uh, We'd run a little bit of video, and we can talk over it. Uh, at the Stroller Show, uh, you can just start it. At the Stroller Show. All right, so this is kind of interesting. It's a test they, track. They have this test track. Bosch uh, and, and I'll sponsors just talk over it. Me. And, and, oh, my gosh, what is this guy Oh, look driving? at cargo bikes. Are big. Look at this it. cargo bike. It's what like, the heck? <laughs> it's like a this. whole what little... I, I did, you, did they say who wants a hot dog as they went by? If you're going to an event, <laughs> you need a. It has a solar store. panel roof. You what? Oh, Electric bikes amazing. and Guys, cargo bikes were huge and at the show, because now so people really are so giving up cars, and, and yeah, like carrying everything the with them, the and wow. and you'll see about three oh, cargo down. bikes go and by. Here's a little trike that's really neat. And so these are these are, are these um, company shields riding these bikes, or are these just people? Just no, anybody them out? anybody who wants to, you go to the uh, you go uh, to the beginning of it. You sign a waiver. Uh, they <laughs> give course. you a helmet, and they point out like fifty bikes. It goes an electric bike, about fifty bikes that different manufacturers have put there, and anybody can take them. And run them. Look at this cargo bike. Oh my gosh! This is like, has a scoop this one in can the carry four hundred pounds if what? that's the right model that I saw. Yeah, I said, "What is this for?" They said, "Well, you kids, depending on the model, one kid or two kids." I said, "If you don't have kids, oh look at this! You bounce up and down, and that to drives pedal. the bike." This is this is like a cartoon. Situation yes, of bike. It's, it's just like it's every another, type of bike. Another, car, another cargo bike. You can uh, imagine. One with less, less cargo space. And it's like you're 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 a dumbo if you if you don't get the most outrageous bike to to 
try out? Why would you just try a normal bike? In exactly. This Here goes a guy. Cool. I'm on an electric bike. Why? Wow. And just one more kind of bike. So that might be the end of it. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it was great fun. It was just great fun. And um, so th the big thing, of course, is electric bikes. And I know not a lot about electric bikes because strangely – Electric bikes are illegal in New York City. <laughs> so, What's I know. the reasoning? Is it uh, like, the no, you must, you must that become people, thin by using yes, a real yes, bike? Yes. People are already knocking other people down with pedal bikes. So I guess they figured they're trying to work out something. A, a lot of companies you know, want to sell electric bikes, of, of course, in New York City. Anyway, uh, at the preview at the bike show, they showed one of the high-end electric bikes. So let's take a peek at that. Hey, Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Rider, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Fans of the show know that I am attracted, like a moth, to LED lights. It turns out the LED lights are on a really neat bike. And we're going to, it's the Pesa GT. And Chris here is going to tell us all about it. Yes. My name is Chris Head, and I'm with Smart Motion. And this is our newest bike in our lineup, the Pacer GT. It's a belt driven, mid drive, so the motor's in the middle, electric bike. It has a lot of unique features you're not going to find anywhere else on any bike. First of all, you, you, you notice the, head, the LED lights. It has a 1,000 down tube light. It has a 900 lumen front headlight. It has LED lighting embedded all the way down the rear rack. It has a belt drive, as I mentioned, so you don't get greasy pant legs. It's the ultimate urban commuter. Uh, and you know, I thought this was your, your smartphone. This is the actual built-in dash. Yeah, yes, sir. It has an integrated uh, uh, display in the, in the down tube. It has two different pedal modes. It has a torque mode, so if you want a little bit of a workout coming home, it also has a cadence sensing mode, which is almost like cruise control. You can keep your speed with a lot less effort, so you don't get sweaty on the way to work, but you get the workout coming home. It also has a continuously variable transmission hub. This is a 360% gear rate reduction, and uh, so this bike, as a complete package, has a set of features you're not gonna find anywhere else. Uh, okay, and the price point on that has to be up there. Three thousand ninety nine dollars. Three thousand ninety nine. Well, we offer financing. <laughs> it's real transportation. You might right. as well take advantage. Okay, uh, three thousand ninety nine as almost thirty one hundred. As almost four thousand. Oh, it's almost four. Okay, I thought I was missing. He, he uh, left out of uh, Okay, and and is the new model out now? Yes, sir. This bike will be available in about six weeks in the U.S. And I like, uh, we have a wood rack back Bam here. Real, real bamboo deck. It has a body float suspension seat post, one of the more advanced suspension seat posts available, or the most advanced suspension seat post available. It actually acts as a motor mount, so you don't bob up and down on it. It reacts to forces from below, so you don't get that feeling other suspension seat posts have of extending the cockpit area or bouncing up and down. Really neat. And they are at Smart Motion Bikes. Dot com. SmartMotionBikesUSA.com is the U.S. distributor. Oh, okay. You got all that? I'll put it on the screen. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Metis Rider, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. Man, there's n not something that'll make you feel like, uh, uh, well, I don't even know if I'm speaking English right now, but that <laughs> the way that he is explaining that bike with... Oh, the end. You got a down pedal suspension right here, and the crankshaft has 360 degrees of uh, articulation. And uh, I, I if you know, didn't know I the know. down to the, the only thing I, I got was the belt drive. I'm thinking, oh, Man. I like a belt drive, no chain. <laughs> exactly. Uh, He's um, like, oh, so whisper, whisper these <laughs> these specs into my ear. I don't even understand. That is incredible, obviously. I, I don't know if yes. I was just bamboozled by all those fancy words or if it actually. Is quite amazing. Uh, I don't know either. I don't. I mean, the suspension <laughs> system looked incredible, um, but uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Four thousand bucks for a bike. Uh, I yeah, that's a, I worry. Yeah, is is you got to think like I, I. Whenever we get into those super high price gadgets, 
the way that I like to kind of think about it in my mind is I, I am a I'm about happy, it's still pain, but I'm about happy to spend close to $2,000 for a computer that I'm gonna use for like two to three years, right? On a really nice laptop that I'm gonna use for years and years, probably daily. So whenever I think of that, for 4,000 bucks, my immediate thought process is that bike, I must use that bike daily for about <laughs> double the amount of time I would use that laptop, so six years. And then I, I might feel like, okay, if I use that for six years every day, sure, that I would, I'd be fine uh, spending that money. Um, uh, actually, are you in an area where biking is easy? Yes and no. Um, so Dallas is, you know, definitely a big megaplex. So getting, getting uh, too far away would, would be a pain. Like I don't have an Apple store or something like that I could bike to. Um, but the area that I'm in, there is definitely stores and restaurants. And I could probably get to a grocery store within biking distance. I could get to a gym within biking distance. Um, although that isn't really the culture around here. So things like bike lanes um, don't really exist. I don't know if like if I got to the grocery store if there would be a bike rack. Pretty certain there is. Oh, I, I just see. haven't okay. seen it. You know, uh, there just isn't that big biking culture in this area. Um, cars may not give me proper right of way, that sort of thing. Um, I but yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> possibly. Okay. Other than that, I mean, this is, wow, what a fantastic looking bike. I assume that the electric part, it could, it helps, you know, like he was saying with that cruise control, that it would yes. help push you along, make your ride uh, a lot less yes, strenuous. Yes, you, you can either have like a little workout mode. So as he said, when you're coming home from work, you want to pedal a little harder so you don't have to go to the gym and you might work up a sweat. But on the way to work, you want to put it in the ease so that it does most of the work and you arrive cool, collected yeah. as you get to the office. Yeah. And of $4, course, all the dollars. It's a yeah. lot, but it's a lot. I could see making that argument if, there, and there's a big, you know, these are, there's a lot of bullet points to this if. <laughs> I, was, I was in a situation where biking made a lot of sense. Like I happened to be in Sweden, everybody biked everywhere. Yes. There were bikes yes. all over the place. Um, and if, if the payment plan on that bike was close to, say, a metro ticket, you know, if I knew oh, that in order yeah. to get to work, you know, uh, buying a, owning a car that's out that's out of the out of the situation, but that metro ticket cost is going to be more than the monthly payment on that four thousand dollar bike, and I want to keep up with the Joneses and have a four thousand dollar bike. So, <laughs> it could be done. But wait, I can see, okay, I I have another option for you. Ooh, do you have a bike? Um, no. No. Oh, okay. I don't have an option for you. <laughs> okay. I used to, but when I moved, oh, okay. uh, when I, I, moved, I have yeah, an I option for other people. <laughs> for most people. For most people who want to have an electric bike. It's not inexpensive. It's more inexpensive than what we just thought and very innovative. So let's see what that is. Hey, Dick Bartolo, Mads, Mattis Rider, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. So we're at Interbike Las Vegas. A lot of people are selling bikes. Mike here is just selling a tire, a single wheel. But it's a very special wheel, I hope. I hope so, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to knock your socks off with this wheel. Okay, okay, go ahead. So what this is, I don't know if you're going to show it. So you put this wheel on any bike, and it makes your bike an electric bike in seconds, about 60 seconds to install. Let me show you how it works. It's really different than what most wheels look like. So this wheel doesn't actually spin. So when it's going down the street, it's weird looking because it's not spinning. This part stays solid, the battery, the motor. The only thing that spins around is this wheel, is the tire. And it's solid, it has a foam core, it will never get a flat. It gives you power, it gives you about enough power to be an Olympic cyclist in a wheel that you put on any bike. Wow. Wow. Cool. Now, how, will, uh, how long is the battery good for mile-wise? This, on the big wheel, it gives you about a 20-mile range if you don't pedal. So pedaling is optional on a bike. 
It's, but if you pedal, then you're, are you putting power back into it? There's two ways to ride it. There's a mode that we call the power mode. That regeneratively brakes you. So that's kind of tuned like a Tesla. When you let off the gas, it's braking you, it's recharging the battery to get you more range. Then there's another mode that we call uh, just, just for cruising. And that's when you pedal and you just use the button once in a while. And there's no theoretical top pedaling speed, right, with this? Well, so the motor will limit you to 20 miles an hour. 20 miles, okay. That's, that's a pretty, legal requirement. That's pretty decent. It's, it's, a, it's a good amount of speed. Uh, so if you look at how most people cycle, regular people, it's about 10 miles an hour. So you're cycling just under motor power twice the speed of a regular cyclist. The, way, the reason we limit it, and most e-bikes will do it, is for legal compliance. So what if it's going under 20 miles an hour, it's still a bicycle. It's not a motorcycle. You need to register it. You don't need to insure it. So it's really a legal requirement. Uh, and now we get to the price. It costs nine ninety five. Nine ninety five. Is it out now? It's out now. And by the way, nine ninety five is a third of a cost of a similarly spec e bike, and it uses the bike you have. We know. <laughs> so whatever bike you like, whatever bike you like riding now, you just add electric power. It's out now. We have a few thousand of them out there in people's hands. Uh, we just launched about a year ago. We're doing great. Uh, and you recharge it via you take it off the bike, or you charge it on the bike. So you can remove the battery, you can remove the whole wheel, it just take seconds, or you can just plug it in. It has a charger, kind of like a laptop charger built in. That is really amazing. Are you the inventor? I am, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I, it's, I think it's a great idea. I love it. Geoorbital.com? Yeah, or G-E-O-O.com. G-E-O-O.com. .com. Oh, okay. I like that, too. Yeah. Dick D. Bartolo, Maz Madis Rider, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Interbike, Las Vegas, Justin at the camera. If it's shaky, who cares? It's not my fault. Bye. <laughs> That is incredible. That is yeah, like so the this, perfect Yeah, thing. this guy uh, has a company, I think, called SpaceX, and they worked with Ford. <laughs> SpaceX? <And> yes. Like, <laughs> the SpaceX. Rocket, rocket company? <laughs> like to Elon uh, it says Musk? Develop <laughs> okay. a, a engineers at SpaceX, and he's oh, wow. one of them. Okay. And, and Ford. And uh, they put it on Kickstarter and raised more than a million dollars. And that's and so now they have fulfilled all the orders for the people who backed it, and that's why now it's it's on sale to uh, new buyers. And I was over at their website. Just go to their website, Chad. Uh, G E O O Wheel. I think I put a link there. And here, let me get to it. They have a little they have a little video there, and just go about a minute into the video because these people are really very inventive with what they're doing with this wheel. Yeah, that's it. Uh, start that. Oh, and it, then, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll I guess go it. down, 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 there, down. There, here we are. There it is. Yep. Okay. And then go a minute into that. Hi. My name is Mike. And that, that, that's him. We just there. met him. Yep, that we just met him. Yep. A community of over 1,600 people. We have shipped wheels all over the world, and people have put them onto very, very creative things that are always inspiring and motivational to us. I want to show you our game room. This is an electric drift trike. If you've never been on one of these, definitely check one of these out. Something a little more serious. This is an electric full-size wheelchair, which still folds up. Look how compact it is. You can still operate this manually, too. It's so universally compatible, we even put it on a wheelbarrow. Hey, don't forget about the Mini Penny. This is the first of our concept vehicles to make it into production, <laughs> and it wouldn't be possible without the geo-orbital wheel. You know, the nice thing about this platform is it has all the components built in that make it move. So we're not limited by a lot of the restrictions of traditional vehicles. We're even working on a car now where the wheels will turn sideways to drive, and it can fold up when it's parked. We're a company powered by a single, simple idea that a wheel can move itself. The opportunities are limitless, and we think we can redefine transportation. But it takes a community. It takes a community to make change. Its products don't make differences, communities do. So please, please join us in building a great company together that can really make a difference in transportation. <laughs> Was that the wheelbarrow? <laughs> yes, exactly. That's hilarious. <laughs> he started laughing. Oh my uh, gosh. Yeah, uh, no, I incredible. mean... So it, how do you... Uh, my first question is, how, how do you uh, control the speed? I guess there's like a little knob? Uh, it, it, it comes with a little throttle that uh, bolts onto uh, the handlebars. Oh, my gosh. This is just looks it, so fun. 
It's it's great, and, and I, I I love the idea that they're thinking of. I love the idea that you could put this uh, on a wheelchair. Yeah, and and, and like I don't know the use, but a. Uh, 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 the wheelbarrow is, is a great idea if you d- have to do tons of laborious things with a wheelbarrow. So it comes in 26 inch and 28 inch. And um, according to them, it takes about a minute to uh, uh, put it's it done, on yeah. a bike. Yeah. Uh, two hours of charge time gives you 80% power, four hours for full power. And as he said, about 20 miles with the bike doing all the work or 40 to 50 miles, depending on the person and the terrain, if you want to be pedaling along uh, with the uh, geo orbital. Wow. But it's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, that's way cool. Uh, yeah, that is just um, one of the coolest products we've seen in a very long time. And... It's just one of those things that you just wish that you had. Like, I just, I want this. I want this so bad. <laughs> you know, I, w- I want to have my normal bike, throw this wheel on it, have it look like the future. I mean, it's cool that it powers itself, but it's even cooler that it stays stationary. And yes, yes, like, yes. It looks yes. like this, like, incredible robotic thing yes. that just, like, it's just well, so you see, cool you looking. for well, too bad you don't have a bike and a wheelbarrow. Then you could come home and say, "I have a wheelbarrow." Watch this. There you, I need a wheelbarrow badly. Um, <laughs> yeah, that is just so gosh darn cool. Um, yeah, it just it just gets the imagination running. It's it's one of those things yes. that just like brings in it brings out the child in you. It's like, oh my gosh, yes, I want this. I want to try this. I want to see how fast I go with it, um, and uh, and also it's just it's, like you know if he doesn't work out if you don't like it, just remove it. You know it's just so simple. Yeah, really, really, no, really great. cool. And and I and I love that video because you can see it's a bunch of engineers every day thinking what can we do next? Where can yeah. we where can we where can we use this wheel? Yeah, totally yeah. Yeah. love it. And also there it hey, is. there's I, a little dash panel that yeah. comes with it. Um, I love that so it's, it's also front wheel drive. Like that's nice yeah. too. You know, you put it on your front wheel. Yeah, very, very, very cool. Um, uh, yeah, man, you. that's that is very neat. That is very, very neat. Good find. The Geo Good. Orbital Wheel. Wheel. Uh, G E O O dot com. G e o o yeah uh, wheel dot com yes right yeah it was weird because he said g e o o dot com on the uh, oh did video, he and, but then I just went to g e o o dot com and it didn't work but then going to g e the, going to the wheel one that you just said worked uh, oh, no, g e o o dot com it works I don't know I don't know what I must work. mistype something uh, okay. so find out more there. Um, anyway, so that's great. So the third gadget, um, I got an email from a 25 year old entrepreneur who said, um, I've been working with my team to come up with a revolutionary rideable electric combination skateboard scooter. We created the scooter board and on Kickstarter reached our goal in the first 48 hours. Her name is Rose Wang. So I met Rose at the show and did some video, but I I realized the video on their website's better because we were standing next to a non-moving scooter board. So let's just watch the first minute or two of her Kickstarter video. Uh, and says all products. The scooter board yeah, yeah. is this electric hybrid. You ride it like and a skateboard, but you Wang have a talking. handle to hold on to, so you gain more confidence in your ability to ride it. Growing up, I always thought skateboarding was cool. And growing up in San Diego, all of my friends skateboarded. I've actually tried to learn how to skateboard at least four times in my life. It was just so hard to control 
and maintain your balance while on the skateboard. And I felt like other people must have similar experiences. I reached out to our team of six engineers and they've had nine years of experience in the electric vehicle industry. For us, it was so obvious that we needed to create a solution to this problem. So with Scooterboard, people can usually learn in under five to 10 minutes. So that as you are learning, you get more confident about the fact that you can ride a Scooterboard. It's a little bit like skateboarding, a little bit like surfing. Um, you've got that same feeling of carving and whipping the tail around back and forth, but now you feel like you can do a lot more with it because of that handle. You've got that stability, you've got the brake and the throttle and extra steering control by pushing it back and forth. We started on the first iteration in October of 2014 and now it'll be three years. We really wanted a product that we were satisfied with and we could bring out to the world. We were not willing to settle for less. The deck that the user stands on is aluminum, so overall it's very durable and also lightweight. Having the front wheel mechanism that allows the user to operate it more like a skateboard, I think it gives the user a much more unique experience that you couldn't really get on just a skateboard or just a scooter. The scooter board has gone through extensive testing, and so it is safe. All of the components, the materials, the hardware, you know, the firmware is all developed in-house. Everything really comes together to create a great riding experience. Okay, we can go out there. Cool. Th so that's pretty neat, isn't it? The, the thing that you it. wouldn't you, you wouldn't see on the um, show floor is that front, the way that knuckle joint works. That as you bend the handle, you're actually steering uh, the uh, scooter board. I w actually, I, I wish we could have taken one outside and, and played with it. Put you on uh, it and, and yeah, watch it yeah. launch out there. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, definitely. Like, I really feel like um, also there's a, kind of been a resurgence in these electric boards. There's a company called Boosted Board that just got super popular, but that was absolutely basically for people who already knew had how- Had great yeah, balance, right? That had good balance, that had done skateboarding before, there's no handle. You know, it's not for people like you and me, it's for people who like skateboarding and who are already into that sort of thing. Uh, and it's a really fantastic electric board. Um, this is definitely for you and me. I could see this around Google campuses, you know, <laughs> sort of thing. Yeah. Instead of yeah. segways, everyone's, you know, using yeah. these things. Um, so the Kickstarter great. thing is still running. So I think they think the uh, end price is going to be kind of up there, like six ninety nine. Yeah. It started out very inexpensive, but the people who supported it first, I think, got in for three fifty nine, and they all went. But it looks like. Yeah, it, the, the early bird special it looks was like four fifty. Uh, four fifty. Uh, there's some at four fifty still. Uh, um, look at that. Yeah, and then the Kickstarter special is five forty. It weighs. Uh, oh, all it weighs gone. Here's the yeah. Here's the VIP early bird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's where it started. That that's where it started. Gone. Three fifty nine, and it has a little uh, a dashboard tell you the uh, amount of battery left, and it, it's pretty neat. Yeah, I agree. This is really, really neat. And they've already been funded. They were asking for 25000 and uh, they've reached that, and there's still 14 days to go. So if you're listening to this episode, you still have about two weeks to go back the project if you like it. If you very, like it. Very, very cool. Yeah. That's I don't like incredible. the fact that... Only 100 backers. That means that, on average, they're spending $300 yes. each backer. That's... Pretty incredible. Yeah, that that it, you got a hundred people to fork over three hundred bucks. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. um, cool. The scooter yeah, board. Oh. So I have three more stuff for next week. Uh, so that's my interbike for today. But that means that now we're going to end our September theme, where our Patreons yo, yo, send Chad shopping. Happy Corner. Get it. Get it. Um, so this is from our very own patron, Nilba. She suggested this gadget. 
And <laughs> I don't think you uh, laugh. So, I'm laughing because, so I don't have a video uh, recorded for this one. We're just going to do it all live. This may be the worst packaging <laughs> we have okay. ever seen from a product. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the Amazon page for it first. And then okay. we'll go ahead and do an unboxing and, and check out okay. the product. This is a... Uh, <laughs> A glove light. I don't even know where to start with this gadget to, to get the supreme amount of humor out of it. Because I don't even I'm know. I'm laughing if I, already. I, Did you say glove light? Yeah, but I'd be wrong. It's not called oh, okay. a glove light. Glove l lit. <laughs> okay. It's the glove lit. Um, and there's an as seen on TV logo on this. But that is in no way the actual as seen on TV logo. That is a fake as oh, okay, seen okay. on TV logo um, for sure. It's not even, it's harder to see in that camera. It is not even centered inside of the red background. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, so uh, this is the uh, Glove Lit uh, from Amazon. On Amazon, it sells under slightly a different name. The Cor 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 Orler? Cool Fingerless LED Flashlight Gloves for repairing, working in darkness places, <laughs> fishing, camping, hiking, and outdoor activities left hand. Uh, you mm -hmm. can see this mm. is the general idea, is that it adds oh, LEDs oh, oh. to your fingers so that you can use LEDs without actually needing to hold a flashlight. Just by using your hand, you will automatically have a flashlight on your hand. Now, I, I'll be honest, I'm quite surprised that <laughs> the packaging is so bad because it has great reviews. It has five stars from eight oh customers. Oh my good! Oh, only eight people. But... Only eight people. But you would think that that yeah. eight is past the threshold of the employees at the company just, uh, <laughs> you know, went on there and uh, and 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 bought it. So let's check out the glove lit um, as seen on TV product. It's uh, quite easy to. Uh, to unpackage, it's just the, the, the box and the product. Let me uh, show you what it looks like right there. So we have uh, the, the finger and the thumb, and this is the left-handed version. Oh wait. Do you buy it by, do you, do you get both, or do you just order it by le right or left? It says, it says uh, you just get left or, or right hand. This is the left-handed version. Um, oh, okay. Think. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, okay. I think I think this okay. is how it works. Um, so this slides on your hand like so. And then the strap is kind of interesting. Instead of it like some other type of like actual loop, you make the loop yourself. So you just go around your hand and you use this little bit of Velcro to reach over. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and that is tight. Let me tell you. Um this is about where it would be comfortable, but it doesn't, it's grabbing just oh, the so, normal. Oh, so you really need to have tiny wrists, Yeah, right? so I'm just going to get it kind of just right on the edge there. That is still very tight. Okay, um, then how you activate it is the uh, on-off button. There is a massive screw just right in the middle of that <laughs> dome. I'm not exactly sure why that exists, but hit the on-off. Let's see if it works. And it works. There we go. So we have the... Um, the LEDs just working just great. I, I'd i say, okay, okay. I, you know what? It's coming back. It's It, 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 it kind of lost me a little bit at the lit uh, in the name, but this seems like this might work. And the idea is that you'd be work on, working on something and you this should give enough ambient light that um, that you, you wouldn't really need to uh, to hold a flashlight. So that you could just keep working, and and this would work. Um, I wish I had the same setup that I had in the other studio where I could just turn off all the lights, but I don't. I have to go unplug them individually. Um, let me see if I can figure out a different way to. So are, are the batteries replaceable? Doesn't 
it looks, it doesn't, unless if that massive screw is the thing that you unscrew to get to the battery compartment, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Let me get my screwdriver from the open it tool. Oh, okay. Okay, we're using our open it again, and let's unscrew yeah. this and just uh, do a little bit of investigative reporting here. <laughs> um, but the good thing is, is that this is not expensive, is that the whole product costs a whole $8.90. Yep, that is a reusable, replaceable battery. Um, it CR2032? Like CR2016s. Oh my god. And there's two god. of them in there. So there's these little wafer thin batteries. These are much thinner than the CR2032 Yeah. 2016s. Uh or yeah, 2016s. Um Oh, and, they took a uh, they took a 2032 and cut it down the middle. <laughs> exactly. And made it's it into 216s. That's exactly what it feels like. Um Okay, so the, yeah, it is usable user replaceable. Um good luck on the uh, getting those. Well, Radio Rod said it must be bright because we saw how bright it was with all the lights on. So it's pretty. It's I would say it's yeah. medium. Um, whoa! There goes the screw. That's lost forever. Um, I would say it's medium. Yeah, it, it, being here in person, seeing a lot of LEDs. I'm an LED expert. I would say it's about a medium brightness LED. Um, nothing to to be too bright about. But okay. for just a cheap. You know, nine bucks. It's eight eight dollars and, and uh, eighty nine cents. Um, this seems to work just great, and it, it may even let me just test this out. It may even work just great as a uh, right hand. But I'm put I, I'm going rogue, and I'm going to put it on my right hand here. <laughs> this works so great. when you when you ordered it, there's a drop down thing that says right or left. It says it right in the title, so it'll it says right there left hand version. Oh. Oh, I see. Of it. And so this this one on the other side should be. Oh, the, I, okay. The right and then the, oh, oh, I see. No, and then there's a right hand version. Well, maybe there's oh, two. Oh, wait a minute. Versions. You can get both, Chad, for 11 bucks. You can. They're both left hand versions. The title hasn't been changing at all. So I'm a little confused. But yeah. Other than the tightness, this is really tight. I, I, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not like making that up. This is this is a really really tight. Uh, this they needed to give you more material here because in order to actually get a secure grip on the Velcro, um, that's that's pretty tight. So this is this is just the barest edge of the Velcro being able to grasp. You can oh, see that see right it. there. Yeah, yeah. So if I actually do it where it's really actually fully on there, that is quite tight. Uh, that is uncomfortably tight. I would not want to work with that. Um, but I'm, but when you pass out, they'll know where you are because they'll see the bright lights. Exactly. Right. Well, when your hand falls off, you'll be able to find it <laughs> because it has some two very bright yeah. LEDs on it. Uh, this does not have it. <laughs> well, wait. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's not. Oh. <laughs> Click it once. Click it twice. This doesn't seem like it's any dimmer. Click it a third time. It turned off. Oh, it's supposed okay, to be Okay, your results may vary with the on-off button. I'm not <laughs> incredibly sure what's going on here with this on-off. How on earth did this get five stars? I don't understand. The on-off button is literally not working at the moment. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Okay, well, there we go. Finally turned off. Uh, yeah, okay. This is uh, this is uh, this is gonna go down in the Hall of Fame for one of the crappiest gadgets um, <laughs> I've ever it covered. It went from medium bright to pretty crappy. Pretty crappy. Um, it it also shows on the packaging that you can uh, put this on an actual work glove. So if you wanted to, there's the work glove. This doesn't just work on hands. It, it can also work on gloves as well. Important for best you'd results. You'd have to have a wrist. You'd have to have a one-inch round wrist for that to yeah, happen. Yeah, I don't even understand how that would be even possible. Um, for best results, wear LEDs on the side of the index finger and on the side of the thumb. Activity glo This is... <laughs> the... <laughs> 
Activate your glove light, remove the screw and lift battery cover, remove plastic battery tab, replace cover, make certain of correct alignment to preserve waterproof seal. Replace screw. Um, interesting. This is, it's, it's a product. You can get it yourself on <laughs> Amazon. Uh, you can get two for $11, one for $8.90, or in 79 cents, or the other one. Oh, it's, it's worth it getting the pair. It's only $2 for the extra definitely. glove. Definitely. The results may vary. On off yeah. future may or may not work. Thank you so much, Nilber, <laughs> for sending this in. Um, I'm pretty positive the glove lift, 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 lift uh, is not an as seen on TV product. If someone can actually find the commercial for this uh, product, I uh, would be quite amazed. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse, Foghorn. And we have a viewer video, not a warehouse video, uh, with an email. Hi, Dick and Chad. Love the show. My family and I watch you guys all the time. My husband either buys many of the gadgets you show... Or you show a gadget that my husband already has, like the hot dog toaster. <laughs> uh, this is my first gadget video. I'm doing it because it's an interesting gadget and because you guys are animal lovers. And I thought you might like the gadget for yourselves. Oh, Yvette is a, uh, Zilea. Yvette is Zilea. Z-E-L-A-Y-A. And let's watch Yvette's video. Hi, Dick and Chad. First of all, I love your show. Oh, thanks. My family and I watch it all the time. So I'm wondering, can you guess what this gadget is? It's a rocket. A uh, uh, portable water fountain. I purchased fountain. it on Amazon for $8.99. Um, it arrived all the way from China. It took about a month to get it's here. It's a way to bottle sound. Uh, and looking <laughs> at the website now, I don't think the original seller still sells it. Uh, but other sellers sell it. A similar item for about $12.99 and up. So what it is is a dog water bottle. Oh. And it's a portable water that you're supposed to carry with you. It's supposed to be spill proof. And the object of it is you fill it with water and then you have the dog lick from the little bowl inside. So this is the first time I'm trying this. And we'll try to fill it up right now. A live demo. Well, not a live to the to video demo. Right. Live to tape video. Yeah. <laughs> so the object is that you're supposed to fill it up and then you squeeze from the middle of the bottle, which forces the water up into the bowl and allowing the dog to drink. I don't have a dog to try it with, but as you can see, it fills the bowl oh, it works. up. It works great. And then when I let go, it's supposed to suck remaining water into the bottom. Oh. Oh, so you just you hold your fist on it. I don't know if I turn it around whether it will spill or not. Ah, it's pretty good. It spilled just a little bit of the remaining water. Since I don't have a dog to test it with, and we bought it for a gift, I hope that the neighbor we are buying it for allows us to film his dog. We'll try it in a few minutes. <laughs> Love it. And by the way, the bottle is called Auto Dog Mug, and it comes with a cute little clip with the name right on it. Okay. okay. So this is Buddy. Oh, oh it works oh, brilliantly. Oh, oh, oh. Buddy, you want more water? Oh, I'll be back. Buddy's not thirsty, but buddy, he is. over here, buddy. over here, buddy. <laughs> some water, drink some water. And this is Buddy drinking water. Um, <laughs> okay. He, nice, 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 I want a bigger bowl. I'm not thirsty. Anyway, 
Yeah. He did drink a little bit. He did drink a little bit. Fucking really this far. This is our neighbor, Tom. Here you go, here you go. With his oh, doggy bag. Oh, he's using it. Awesome. Oh, there we go. It's a commercial. It's lab dog approved. Perfect. Oh, that's good. That is perfect. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I absolutely need this for Charlie. Oh, my that's gosh. That's great. Yeah. Making sure your, your dogs are hydrated. Whenever you're walking or, <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I mean, it, it can be really hard. You know, there's water fountains for humans. There's not a ton of, you know, dog fountains. Um, this is just, mm. this is great. This is fantastic. It's very cute. Love Nick with it. the C said it's lab tested. <laughs> it is lab tested. That, it is lab tested. That was the black lab right there. <laughs> lab tested, uh, collie approved. <laughs> uh, Yvette, you, um, you're right. We we like that gadget. And Yvette at the bottom of the thing said, I'm coming to your meetup. Oh perfect. So Yvette, you will get your you will get your copy of Mad Magazine and your Alfred E. Newman photo. Everybody who submits a bit of video that we show lives in the US or Canada will get a uh, Alfred E. Newman picture and the current issue of Mad. And the meetup is still two weeks away. We, I might be able to give you the the uh, November December issue. Uh, so if you want to send us a video, it can be like uh, a vet's video, something she just bought for a gift and thought it was a gadget that we would like it, and she was right. Uh, make a little video, two to three minutes. And put it on YouTube. And when you hit upload, there's a little drop down menu. You can click unlisted. And that means only people with the URL can go see it. Send us the URL. And it goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. So it can be about an old gadget, something you just bought, something you hate, pretty much anything <laughs> that has to do with the gadget. We and the Gizwiz audience uh, is interested in. Okay, mail at gizwiz.tv. Perfect. Thank you so much for that video. With that, let's jump on into the ladder. Our letter is from William Miller. Uh, and the subject is, but disposable power banks still exist. No way. I was curious when I saw a Giz with 1640, if anybody still makes these things. And a number of companies do make them. Some even come in festive packaging. And he sent a link. That looks like a... Uh, uh, like a you know what you know what go up go up it says condom packaging no way it does condom it does package. it does what the heck oh my gosh <laughs> um yeah um, you know uh, just because because if you if you want that anonymity of carrying around a disposable <laughs> yeah. battery and you don't want people to think you know they yeah. don't, you don't want people to judge you for carrying around a disposable battery the packaging you looks like it. it's you a say, condom. Oh, that's not a disposable battery. That's just a condom he's got. Yeah. You can get on that get on that airplane. Oh. You go on there. <laughs> exactly. Just don't use it in flight. Um, what? Okay. Yeah. Well. And he's uh, William Miller, a.k.a. Princess Willie, says, just search for disposable power banks, and there are tons of them. Wow. You know, I'm not quite sure the advantage of this over... An external battery. Yeah, I recharge. agree. It, it feels wasteful now. I mean, it 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 doesn't feel. It, uh, they're all one time. Um, so is it two for nine dollars? Uh, go back to the price thing. Yeah, pack of two. Yeah, two. Yeah. So I, I again, I'm not sure why you want this. I agree. It 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 does. It feels it feels like. It's not much more to get a return. You know, if, if you if you miss that show, these are one time only uh, use uh, battery packs. So you use them, you charge your phone, or you keep talking on the phone, but then you throw it out, and so it really is 
it's pretty wasteful. Yeah, uh, it, and, it, and I mean, it's, I think it's also just because there's there's almost no advantage because I'm sure the capacity isn't any much more. No, like if you got it, it like was, seven I times think, the capacity out of a battery that could only be used once, maybe. Yeah. But then also, you're it's not like you're trying to carry it around any less like you're still gonna throw this in your bag like you would the rechargeable one except you just can't recharge this one yeah uh, and especially like there are a lot of rechargeable ones low power rechargeable ones down around ten dollars there's there's always someone uh, yeah. on one of those just deal of the day where you can get an external battery charger for 9.99 uh, and they're very small I mean, they're not terribly powerful, but they're rechargeable. <laughs> uh, so. Bleak found the uh, power bank capacity of 800 milliamp hours. <laughs> oh, oh. That, that won't even charge an iPhone. Uh, that is really, really That's bad. half an iPhone, That's right? half an iPhone, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, unless if there's a very, very specific use case where you have to throw away the battery. Oh, hang on. Beatmaster, our tech expert, says, Chad, does it mention the chemistry of the battery? Let me see. Uh, because lithium ion, we know, could be a problem if it's not well made. Yeah. And now that is, then, uh, is there uh, a a technology that might keep its charge for longer. So if you needed to throw this into an emergency uh, pack that could be ready for 15 years, like maybe. Yeah, this is... Uh, batteries, uh, Eric polymer, Dr. lithium, aluminum. Polymer, lithium, aluminum shell aluminum. batteries. Anyway. Well, but you know, the reviews were not good, or, now that I think of it. I yeah. think a lot of people said they arrived dead. Yeah. So if it's possible these are on one star. It's possible these are very very old from yeah. somebody's warehouse. Anyway, but it's good to know William William Miller, um, and we got some laughs out of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's what's really important. Yeah, it, it, it's that might be the crappiest uh, product of the show. <laughs> so crappy we won't even try buying it. Uh, thank you for sending that over. Uh, if you want to catch old episodes of the show, head on over to gizwiz.tv. That's where our show lives. You can also go there to catch the show live. We record at uh, 4.30 Pacific Time, 7.30 Eastern Time. Also, head on over to gizwiz.biz gizwiz uh, to check out the site that uh, Dickie D writes all of these articles about all of the products that we cover in the show. And you can also head on over there to play What the Heck Is It? We're halfway through this product, so uh, you better get over there and get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. This is it, the whole product, not a part. That's all of it. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm just gonna say right now, this is a, uh, a way to pick up um, uh, sp uh, spiky stuff. <laughs> sometimes okay. I have it, sometimes I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a spiky stuff picker upper. It's uh, pretty obvious. If you think you yeah. know what it is, if this 12... was on Amazon, that's what they would call it. Spiky stuff picker Red picky upper. sticky yes. stuff picker upper. The way the title t title in the SEO work is, yeah, yeah. spiky stuff picker upper, red uh, for your hands, um, disposable. If you don't know what this is and want to get creative, unlike me right now. Uh, then you can get a guess in, and there's 24 Mad Magazines, double the Mad Magazines for funny, hilarious, clever, or interesting answers. Big, big thank you to our patrons over at Patreon.com. Patreon.com is a service to support independent content creators like us. Patreon.com slash gizwiz is our page, and big thank you to everyone who supports the show. You guys really do make the show happen every week. Uh, and I uh, couldn't thank you enough for all of your support. If uh, you don't want to yes. give a reoccurring uh, support and you want to just give once, hey, that's fine too. Gizwiz.tv, click the Patreon tab. Underneath the Patreon banner is a link to PayPal. And we thank you so, so, so much if you support that way as well. Big, big thanks to you. 
Uh, that finally, finally the meetup. The meetup. It's uh, we'll soon. Th yeah, October it's basically 8th. this is the last moment. The next episode will be so close to meetup day that you may not even have time to book travel. So October eighth at the Boat Basin Cafe uh, from two to four p.m. Be there if you are in the area. We'd love to meet you. It's a fun time. Uh, Dick buys a round for everybody, and we just hang out, talk about old gadgets. We bring some gadgets to give away. We play some games, and uh, just get to hang out. It's just a whole bunch of fun. It's in a beautiful area right next to the Hudson. Um, the Boat Basin Cafe is just really, really a great place. So, please come on down on October 8th. Be there. And all the info is at gizwiz.biz. And, and click on Dick's Log and Blog, and you'll find menus and pictures from past events. And uh, hopefully you can make it. Uh, we'll see you there, and we'll also see you next week. I'll be here.